it's all new divine here i'm just preparing for a zoom call that i'm doing with a group of um painters who are doing flower painting with me and i wanted to put something down for the background and i thought i'll just record this uh for a little youtube video today um very very welcome if you're new here and um, have a look at the links below if you want to know more about me i'm a teacher and um, a painter and um there are videos on every sort of thing we're kind of getting them organized so you'll be able to see the playlist of flowers and the playlist of mixed media and different things. Um, okay, I think that's it. Most of the playlists are pyjama playlists because I, I usually end up just uh, painting before getting dressed. And it often, you know, can be in the afternoon even. In fact, I'm wearing my pyjamas now. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You don't know that, do you? Because I've just got a jumper on. Okay, so I wanted to do a background colour. I think I'll just use the colour that's in the cloth behind and I'm using acrylic and the plan is to paint in acrylic for a while and then to use oil on top uh, later on. I'll see you'll see another part of this video after because I'll do um I do a bit more after the call. <clears throat> okay but I was just considering what colours would make that kind of greyish colour in the background and so I'm um pulling some colours together here and um, of course you can't really see I'll show you Got, well, you know what, I'll just hold it up for you. What I use in the end is these um, takeaway carton, you know, the, the tops from the takeaways. Um, to mix my colours. That's what I've been using recently. There's a fair few takeaways being had. So I'm getting out some ultramarine blue and some, you know what, I'm just going to put it onto the paper so that you've got something to see. So there's ultramarine blue there. Oh, and I need to get water. Oh, I've got some in the container. My goodness, I wasn't ready, was I? There we go, that'll do for the water. And um, so I'm just going to plaster it on. You see that colour? It's got that blue in it, but it also needs something else. I think maybe some brown. This is Van Dyke brown. Let's see if that would work. I'm thinking against the white of the paper, let's just see if I was to um, use my three inch white brush just to mix the two together and see what the colour looks like. Yeah, I think it's quite close, but I'll just need a bit more brown in there, I reckon. This is practice paper from the SAA website. It's acrylic practice paper and I find it quite a good colour. A good texture for working with it. It feels good actually just making a start like that and I'm going to let some water come in and see what that'll do. Put water up in the corner there. And on the other side too. And maybe fling some on. Sometimes nice things happen in the texture of acrylic when you fling water on it and wipe it away before it fully dries. But really I'm just trying to get something for a background that's not too exciting because I want it to sit back behind the flowers comfortably. I might even, as we're talking there now, I might even just use a rag or a bit of kitchen paper dipped in water in order to find the position of the white daisies there, the white chrysanthemums. So it's quite tall, this still life, and I reckon the white daisies would be about there. And I just want to kind of excavate a shape for them and um, so that it's not completely... Yeah, just so it, I suppose it'll be easier to retrieve them from the grey than from the grey. And I think also the, the yellow. I mean, I don't want to actually start painting before the people come on. But um, in a way, I think it'll be good already to begin distinguishing between the yellow and the white chrysanthemum. So I'm going to put some yellow paint on the damp paper towel and use that as a way to excavate this colour. The lemon yellow isn't... The colour of the chrysanthemums, is it? 
but I'm going to just wipe it off. But the thing is, the thing that's good about this is that there'll be a stain of yellow left, so it doesn't eat as white, does it? Um, more kitchen paper. So I'm going to see if I could create some nice effects there. Okay, but I want to use the kitchen paper too to lift off. I guess I don't need that much of the lemon yellow there. Okay, so that's a space for the yellow chrysanthemums to occupy. And I don't mind about the greenery. I'm happy enough to do the green over the grey because the green is actually darker than the grey anyway. The green leaves. Can you see them there? There's green leaves extended. You can. Um, those are a bit darker than the chrysanthemums and then the grey the gray background. In fact, the green where it meets the flowers is the darkest part of the whole image, really. And that and the pot underneath. Um, yeah. I was just noticing that the pot is darker than the background behind it, so it's quite a nice thing to just in indicate that to and get myself um, a little bit interested. I'm feeling a bit excited about it now. This is cadmium yellow. And I think that's closer to the colour of the chrysanthemums than the, you know, when it's spread out over the white, it seems to me like it's a good colour mixed in with the yellow, with the lemon yellow, mixed in. So the two of them together, I think, make a, not a bad colour. Again, it needs to be lifted off though, because actually it's less like the chrysanthemums than I thought it was. It's more orangey, so it's more suited to the centre of the chrysanthemum flowers than the petals. So I think what I need to do when I am actually painting them is to, um, what I'm going to do when I am actually painting them is to mix the, the lemon yellow and the cadmium yellow together and that'll hopefully give a nice buttery consistency for the paint to, or even just a, an opaque layer of paint that I can put on there and then later pick out with the oil paint. Yeah, slightly trigger happy now, aren't I? I mean, I'm, I'm even meant to wait until they come on. But um, part of me too wants to indicate, I did say I'd prepare a background, I'm not sure if that's, yeah that's not a bad colour is it, for the cloth at the bottom there. So I'll just, um, I had the hair dryer ready in case I needed to use it to dry the um, preceding layer before using the oil paint. I kind of like the way that that's just plain like that, I'm going to leave it. It maybe comes up a bit higher though. Uh, like it'll come up to about there in the pot, I'd say. So what it could do. Uh, where would it come up to now? It's about there. So I'll just do that. I've actually just used a bit of blue paper because it was the colour I wanted. I didn't have a place mat or anything that colour, but I had a blue bit of paper and I've stuck it down onto the piano and that's fine. So there we are. That's good, I've made a bit of a start anyway. I'm not going to do any more now because um, the idea is that the, the folk on the Zoom call will see how to begin and everything. So I've actually kind of started it there, haven't I? But uh, there we are. I'll see what I'll do with the tabletop. I might change that. The colour isn't the same as the blue um, and also I'm not sure I want it just to be a swipe. We'll see. It might be good like that. Okay, so this is Anya Divine signing off. Thanks very much for watching and tune in tomorrow when we might see another part of this painting taking shape, the oil layer or something. Okay, right, take care. Lots of love.